as we see uncertainty and a, a trend toward uncertainty and fewer resources happening in the U.S. at the federal level, the ball game is going to shift to the state and local level and outside the United States. States have an important role to play. Uh, Governor Brown's willingness to actually set a target for six and a half gigawatts of CHP by 2030 is important. States like New York, New Jersey, Maryland actually putting resources behind uh, investments is important. There is more opportunity to do that across the country. But I would in particular focus on cities. Cities and mayors are going to become climate and clean energy diplomats and policymakers in a way that they never have before. Cities represent 70% of global energy use, and in many of the major cities, some of our panelists were referencing this before, half of the energy use is uh, heating and cooling. And in the United States in particular, many cities are going to want to have their own stories. Some of that is around the debate about getting to 100% renewable, but I think in most US cities, the debate is more pragmatic than that. It's they want to have a story that they're moving forward in positioning their local economy for the clean energy jobs of the future. That's the key. And if you're a mayor, you want to be able to say that, and then you want to be able to concretely deliver that. And that's particularly true in the wake of the Trump administration's decision on Paris. I will tell you, I worked in the White House trying to generate enthusiasm and support for the Paris Agreement before we had a Paris Agreement. And we went around the country trying to get companies and cities to sign on and say it would be great if we had a Paris Agreement. And it was hard work. And we were able to galvanize people and get people invested. But it was slow. And at the end of the day, we probably had about 100 cities and 150 companies that signed up. In a week after the Trump administration's decision, organically, without the power and the apparatus of the White House behind it, you saw more than 200 US cities and more than 1,300 US companies raise their hand, state publicly, that they intended to move forward on their own plans to move toward cleaner energy and fulfill their commitment to the Paris Agreement. That creates a huge market opportunity because I will tell you, having conver had conversations with several of those mayors, they have now said that, and they're a little like the roadrunner that's now out over the cliff. Because the truth is, they don't actually know what the right solution is for them to, de uh, to deliver on those clean energy pr promises. And for the most part, they don't have the resources or the technical expertise to themselves develop uh, a plan. This is a place where your expertise, your experience, your network, and your success working at the local level um, creates uh, a huge opportunity. And while it is always the case that working at the local level and working with mayors and municipalities is important, now that moment is more critical than ever. And lastly, I would, I would encourage you to show success outside of the United States, because increasingly the center of gravity on clean energy policy is going to navigate to other countries. And the opportunity to demonstrate partnerships between government and the private sector to move forward uh, at new solutions will then have a feedback effect on helping to influence and drive more coherent uh, US policy. And at the end of the day, I would encourage you to not think small. Because at the end of the day, the opportunity of a platform-based solution around district energy, the opportunity of the increased efficiency driven by CHP, is ultimately the opportunity to change the world.